Hello, Jazz Energy here with an episode of Face of the Franchise. Gonna be introduced to our offensive coordinator, Manny Kahoo. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Hey, man, you gotta do your homework tonight, all right? Get some rest. I mean that. So, how you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling blessed, coach. That's what I like to hear. Hey, man, you can gain a momentum all throughout camp. And it's clear you got the physical gifts to be a really special player. Thanks, coach. I'm ready to be a big-time playmaker for this team. Oh, I know. Bruh, the things you do out on that field, oh, man, can you turn some heads. But hey, you got to remember, there's always another level you can get to. And if you do that, <laughs> I just know our offense will explode. Just tell me what I got to do, coach. Well, for starters, you got to carry yourself like you're the top dog. That means on and off the field. And you got to prepare yourself that way, too. I got you, coach. I haven't put the playbook down. I got it with me right here. <laughs> I believe that. We just got to keep seeing it on the practice field. Eventually, that'll lead to game day. Hey, man, I'm excited for this season. I know what's going to be good. That's what I'm here for, coach. Let's get out there and make some noise. Let's do it. Rad. I can complete eight passes and a half. What? Go check quick. Yeah, we're gonna up that. Let's go. Today, from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, it's week two of the NFL preseason on EA Sports. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. Start the drive. Now that's into the hands of Mo Ali Cox. Yeah. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Set up to throw. Throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Mo Alley Cox. Right on. And they're going to get this down near the 35 yard line. A good throw there. And that's what you want to see from a quarterback trying to cement his spot as a starter. Now, worth pointing out, we're expecting to see this group for the first half of this game only. So they'll get a little more run than they did last week. Yeah, this is kind of the new normal, isn't it, partner? Because we've gone from four preseason games to three. So this is more like the dress rehearsal game. Although there are a few teams out there that use that third game a little bit more now because there's a bigger gap in the third game to the opener. But what you want to see, one half of crisp football. Game plan in place and guys really running through it the proper way. On first down, he'll drop to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. So it looks like they got pressured on that one. This series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Now a throw here to his running back. 
There we go. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Now we'll pause for the injured player, and it's yeah, it's Jonathan Taylor who's shaken up. That certainly oh, would be boy. a major loss for this offense. Hopefully he's okay. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. gain there on the eighth play of the drive and forget about the run to set up the pass they're just coming out throwing forget trying to set anything up they feel like they have the advantage they feel like they have the matchups and they're just attacking right now yep going to the air on the opening drive give him seven there on the tuck and run and they're in better shape now for third they made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs. Got yeah. Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts touchdown. March right down touchdown the field there. And the Colts are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. Come on, give me another shot at the ball. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch rolling to his right and it's ha. incomplete took a shot couldn't connect as we thought they might do here in week two of the preseason they've left their starting quarterback out there for this second quarter but i would imagine we will not see him after halftime yeah this is the time of year you've got to get your backup some reps and make sure you protect there we go there we go and he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. First and ten, Taylor now. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And he was brought down by big Levi Onyazarike. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Well, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost. Oh, come on, JT. Line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Oh, that might be all I get in this. Nope, they now we get a okay. peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. Been a decent start for him here in this first. All right, we'll do what they want. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Oh, now it's strip. He loses the football. But I believe the Colts were able to fall on this when they were. And so possession will remain with Indy. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. He'll look to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That's probably it for me. Yeah. That's what I get for trying to run their place. Well, a couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this one, Charles, would have been different, but ultimately time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short. 
And they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Indy. Ah, nice game overall. 10-14, 73 yards and a touchdown. Yeah! Let's level up a bit. Suppose that's all for this week. Hope you all join me for the next Face of the Franchise episode. Oh, look at all those unhappy faces. Just a preseason game, fellas. Regardless, hope you all join me for the next Face of the Franchise episode. And I thank you for watching. Jazz out.